So I'm back here doing another battery degradation test for my 2022 Tesla Model 3 Long Range. Uh, I'm currently at 25,000 miles or 41,000 kilometers. Uh, last time I did this was about a year ago and the report showed I had a 92% battery health. And when I look at Teslafy, it looks like I haven't lost any range according to uh, from last December to this December. So what I'm going to do is rerun that test. Like I said, I would run it every year while I had the car. And so we're going to go back into the service mode and we're going to go run that test. And so let's go ahead and start off with right now I'm at 41,000 kilometers, 25,000 miles. I'm currently at 8%, so I drove my car back and forth on the highway here. It's nice and warm. Uh, what's the battery sitting at right now? Looks like we're at, and I, can, I pre I preconditioned the battery like as if I was going to a supercharger, so it's pretty hot. The maximum temperature is 45, 44 degrees Celsius, and the minimum temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. And the charger temperature is sitting at 41. So it's nice and toasty. It's nice and warm. Everything's good that way. Again, I'm at 8%. So to run this test, I'm going to go ahead and go back into service mode. And we'll do that same process. So let's go into service mode. So we'll go into service mode by clicking on the car. Clicking on software. And holding down on the Model 3 till it flashes. And then we're going to type in the super secret uh, access code, service S. Okay, so I just uh, ran up and grabbed my key card so that I could leave it with the uh, on the console here so there's the key ca card right there and as you can see we've got it's in park we have the key press on the foot pedal and right turn signal so do a countdown Turn that off. And now we have the gateway unlocked. So let's do the health test. So it says pumps, fans, drives, units may sound, make noise, produce, eject heat, blah, blah, blah. That's because it's going to try and drain the battery. Uh, this routine either starts a new high voltage battery state of charge health test or returns to the detailed results of the last requested state of charge test. A few important things that you need to do. You have to ensure that the vehicle is plugged into a uh, six kilowatt AC adapter. You can see right now I'm not, so let's go take that. We are now plugged in. It shouldn't. It's going to start charging. It shouldn't. We'll just stop the charging. A um, couple things we need to check. We have to check that sentry mode is turned off. I checked my app on the phone. It is off. We have to go to here, cabin overheat protection. That has to be turned off. If you have a scheduled um, charge time, then you need to turn that off. And what I've done is I've set my charge to 100%. So what it's going to do, it's going to discharge the battery using energy from the car that's why i drained it down to eight percent 
and then it's going to start charging and it drains it down to about 5% was what I saw last time. So it's going to drain it down to about 5% and then it's going to charge it back up. By bringing it down to this low state of charge, the turnaround time for this test should be about 12 hours. Not the 25 or 24 that potentially it could be. So we'll look at this. It says ensure the vehicle is plugged into this charger. It is. Ensure summon. Safety uh, sentry mode. We check that. So we can check summon. Summon. So there's summon. I turned that off. So we've turned all those features off. Uh, scheduled charging, let's check. I don't have it, so it says schedule. So that means I am not scheduled for charging. So that's perfect. So we have summon checked, sentry checked, cabin over heat protection, auto preconditioning, and are disabled. I don't have any of that. Test may take up to 24 hours. Well. We're doing what we did just to make sure that it doesn't. Uh, do not interact with the vehicle or the test may abort. And then there's this warning and then I know other people have ran the test and then they get this battery health pound, pound, percent or last me me measured, uh, measured pound, pound days ago. So how many days ago and have no and values have not changed. This may mean the test was interrupted. In this case, run this routine with the results option obtained. So I think you take this one and you select results. So that's where everybody kind of messes up as they don't read this part here. We, we're gonna do a start or if it fails then you can get results. So I'm gonna go start. And then we're going to run this. So right here. So there we go. The battery health test has begun. This routine attempt stopped. Attempts to top the state of charge routine. If it's currently active, it's not. This routine may fail occasionally when the state of charge or state of health test is in a state where it's unsafe to stop. So go ahead and run. And it's now saying the high voltage BMS state of health test initiated. And doesn't look like it's doing any massive draws but there's some information from my Ingenix so it tells me that the full nominal kilowatt hour is 75.3 and what does this one say nominal full pack is 75.4 so I know last year or sometime this year it was 76.1 so we've lost according to this about half a kilowatt hour but we'll let this run um, it is making noises but it's not as crazy as it was uh, the first time I ran that test anyway we'll let this run I can uh, We'll let this test. It says it's initiated, so we'll just leave it now and we'll see what happens. We're at 8%. If it drops down and then starts charging back up, then we know that uh, the process is, has begun. So it is 2. 2.23 p.m. on the December 24th and I'm hoping that this will be completed before the morning and then we can get the results on Christmas Day and then maybe I can make this a uh, standard test that I run on Christmas Eve. 
anyway, we'll come back to you uh, later uh, uh, with some progress if there's anything to report. Well, it's 5 o'clock in the morning and the test is just completed. And we're now sitting at 100%. And let's take a look and see what the car is reporting for range. So it's now reporting 551, which is what it was reporting previously. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I always leave it on percentage, so I'll just put that back. You can see down here, here's the, the final report. 93% health. So last year when I ran this test, we were at 92%. can't remember what the uh, range was, but it was probably pretty similar. It was in October of last year. A year ago today, my car was reporting that the range was 540 kilometers. So a year ago today on Christmas morning was 540 kilometers. And we're now at 551. So again, I don't really trust the BMS. It goes up and down in waves, right? And so um, looking for the general, so the average over time. And what I'm going to say today is in the past year, I haven't lost anything. That's, a, that's great. I'm really happy with that result. And uh, we'll run this test again in a year. Um, the 93%, I don't know what really 93% means, so it's uh, it's a number. It's a better number than last year because it was 92%. So health is really, really good. 551 kilometers when we originally started at 576. So we're looking at about 25 kilometers lost over two years, 25,000 miles. Um, 41,000 kilometers. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, which is uh, for my daily driving, which is about um, 60 miles a day. I'm charging to 70%. It brings it down to about 40 to 45%. I do leave sentry mode on. Um, it's in the winter, so it's a little less efficient. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do and continue doing that. It seems to be working well with me. And then there, once in a while, I'll charge it up to 100%. I'll probably charge it to 100% again next year when I run this test for the third time. That is, if I don't have a Model Y by then. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I got to say about the battery test. I will say, though, that uh, when you start that test, like I did yesterday, as you saw, it was about 8%. It made noise for about five minutes, and then it just went completely silent. And I had thought that the test had failed. I just left it. Um, about two hours later, it started charging. So it didn't drain it down. It, it stayed right at the 8%. It never went below 8%. And then uh, it charged it back up to 100%. Again, it just completed. And uh, yeah, that's the end of this test. Would I recommend someone to run this test like I am once a year? Yeah, if you want for information purposes so that you know uh, what your car is doing. Again, uh, if I look at, I use Scan My Tesla, so I'll take a look at that and just see what it's reporting. So it's reporting. So the one thing I have noticed since last year or sometime, last time I checked this app, I don't look at it all that often, was the nominal full pack was uh, 76.1 uh, kilowatt hours. It's now 75.4, so we'll, we'll remember this number for next year. 75.4 kilowatt hours is the nominal full pack, and it's reporting 551 because it does get the data directly from the car. So... It's not estimating anything. It's telling you that. They used to have <clears throat> a, a degradation line in here, and they actually took it out because their calculations weren't working well. So they just let you figure that piece out. They give you the data, and you figure it out from there. So, um, yeah, everything seems to be fine. I've got uh, <clears throat> total charge cycles on my car for two years is 141. 
So I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, again, we'll run this test again next year. Does the 93% really mean anything? Not really. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody out there, and we will talk again soon. Thanks for watching.